Hey, g'day guys, it's Adam from Video Show Me How. And in today's video, we have another lithium portable battery bank review. This one's from EcoFlow, and this is their River 2 Max. This is their new one that uses the LiFo 4 chemistry. There's a bunch of different videos on the channel now with a few different versions of these portable battery all in one unit. So if you're in the market and you're trying to work out what's what, hopefully one of these will help you out. All the links will be in the description, but without further ado, let's get started. And here we go. It is quite a compact little unit. We've got everything we need on the front here and our charging ports on the rear. We're going to we're going to have a bit of a a bit of a look around of course here in a second before we get into the features let's do a bit of a run the ruler over it we're coming in at about 270 in width we have a look at our depth here we've got about 260 with the handle and then height wise we're pretty much bang on 200 millimeters now if we have a bit of a look around the front of the unit starting with our on off button it's an easy press and one of the best things I like about the EcoFlow units is just how clear the LCD screens are. They give you a really nice readout there of exactly what's going on. You can see down the front here, we have our AC switches. And behind the scenes here, this is a pure sine wave inverter that's running these guys, and they're giving you 500 watts in total output. So fine to be able to run something like this or your fridge, laptop chargers, that sort of stuff. We'll test that in a minute. You also have a surge of up to 1,000 watts. If we head on here to our USBs, we've got a couple of USB A's, and then importantly, I think this guy here, which is our USB C, this is an input or output, so you can charge via this as well. And this guy is good for 100 watts at five amps, which is uh, which is pretty good. We also then coming across here, have our standard DC outputs. We've got our cigarette lighter plug there, and that's good for your 126 odd watts or about the 10 amps. And then similarly down the bottom here, you have some additional DC outputs. These guys are good for three amps each. So lots and lots of options there to be able to charge all of your devices. Now, if we scooch the unit around on the side, what you're looking at is a fan to keep things nice and cool. That is temperature controlled, so it will flick on and off as required. You don't have to worry about that. On the back, we have our AC power cable input there. We also then have our DC input, and this is good for your solar and from your car. So, so that gives you a bit of an overview. I reckon from here, I reckon let's see what happens. Let's actually use the thing. So I reckon first up, let's have a look at what happens when we plug some panels in. These are the EcoFlow portable units. These are the flexi panels. And I've, I've got a video that's half done at the moment. You'll see on the channel soon, comparing these to a bunch of other panels. And, and spoiler alert, these guys go pretty good. They're a 160 watt panel. I've got the cable all plugged in here. It has our plug off the back here. So all we need to do here is plug this guy in the back. And it'll take a second, it does use our built-in MPPT charger. And what you'll do, what you'll see is our little screen update. There it goes. These are a 160 watt panel. They're a little bit haphazard there and they're a little bit dirty, I know, but they work pretty good. We're already up over 100 watts coming in. Bearing in mind, you can put up to 220 watts into this thing. From charging at 30%, it's gonna take about three hours. So at max, you can halve that again. So now I've just downloaded the EcoFlow app onto the phone there as well. It kind of gives you a little bit more information. You can see from an input perspective, there's our recharge time there. If we're charging at that 112 odd rate, that gives you a bit of an idea of how quickly we can charge things. I reckon, I reckon from here, let's, let's unplug our solar and then let's have a crack at charging it via our car cable. And there we go, we are plugged in. We can see there's our recharging time there as well. We're getting 100 watts in. I just plugged it straight into our store mod here and we can see we're drawing. Actually, the fridge is still on as well. Let's unplug that. So there we go, we're drawing about that uh, 100 watts there as well. So that sounds about right, about, about eight amps that's coming out of the car. Let's uh, have a look at the app here. Yep, there you go, four hours and two minutes apparently. We're getting that 98 in and you can see it's come up saying, yep, we're charging via the car. So I plugged a USB-C charger in there. Let's turn on that power there. We've got our USB-C plug. So if you've got any sort of USB, the good news is you can whack that straight in there. And then what we should see in just a sec, there we go. It's recognized USBs kicked in and now we're charging. We're climbing there in the old watts. Let's have a look on the old app. Same sort of story there. It looks like we're getting about that 63 watts coming in. You can hear our fan has just kicked on there as well. 
while we're charging. So there you go, we've got some uh, power via USB as well. Obviously it's gonna take a fair bit longer just purely because we're only getting the 60 odd watts. I did try this running the DC as well, but it doesn't seem to like it. It seems like we can only do one or the other. And then our final input that we have to test is our AC. So I've just jumped into the studio and we're plugged in to our regular power. So let's, let's turn that guy on, see what happens. This is where we're gonna get that extreme charge from AC and this is one of our EcoFlow's proprietary charging, which is pretty awesome. This is where the rubber hits the road. Have a look at that. We are powering up with our wattage in, which is pretty awesome to see. We can see we're down to minutes. We're down to minutes now. So that's awesome because if you imagine you're about to go on a trip or something and you're like, ah, I forgot to charge the thing up. Maybe it was flat from last time because you've you've used it right down or something like that. That's pretty cool. That's basically packing time, right? So you could throw it on the charge as you're sort of packing the car or what have you. By the time you're away, it's, it's gonna be full. So that's pretty impressive. When you talk about charging AC, you're gonna get this guy charged up in no time. Right, so we're back at the D-Max and even in the time mucking around getting back to here, we've already, you can see up to 45%. So I reckon from here, let's, let's push some power out of it or pull some power out of it. We'll charge some drone batteries, we'll charge some stuff via USB. So we can just plug these guys in I get that around the right way. You can see there goes our little USB. It's saying we're charging that. There's our outputs coming through. And we can also see there's our output at the top on our app. We're drawing about the 10 watt odd mark uh, and we're charging our battery. So that's pretty cool. With that sort of stuff, this is the cool thing about the EcoFlows as well is it gives you all of this readout. So it tells you exactly what's coming in. You can do all of that simultaneous. You could have this guy plugged into the solar. That's an excellent point, Adam. Let's plug it into the solar. The solar that is now in a little bit of shade, but you get the idea because in just a sec, this will kick on. There we go. So we've got power going in. We've got power going out. The app updates all of that for us as well. So it is a pretty cool thing. If you're after just sort of the, the set and forget, no mucking around, these things are great because of exactly that, right? You can see exactly what's going on. We've got our net difference there. We've got our recharge time, even while it's charging. And it sort of tells you all on this little screen or on the app, exactly exactly what's going on. So that's pretty cool. Let's plug in our coffee frother. This is our standard sort of uh, AC test. And like you've seen in the other test videos, this guy comes in right bang smack on that 500 watt mark. So this guy having a 500 watt inverter should be able to handle this, no problem. We've turned on our AC. We just need to plug her in. And then from there, we just need to Hit the button. There we go, we're frothing our low fat water there. There's our output. So we're drawing some watts now, 532. Have a look on our old app. Yes, we concur. So there you go, if you were doing this full, full tilt, even though we're at 45, you're not gonna be able to do that forever, of course. We are doing the full draw here, and this is a good test really of, of exactly uh, the maximum that you can draw out of one of these guys, but it's pulling it. It's doing it, no dramas at all. You can see even we've got our little icon pop up there saying the inverter's turned on. So that is pretty good. I reckon that is awesome. We'll let that finish up. And there we go, it has completed over the side here. It's dropped back down and we pulled, looks like about 2%. So about 2%, we have been charging of course, which was cheating a little bit, but about 2% to, to full froth, to do a full froth pulling that five. 500 watts, so that's pretty cool. From there, I reckon the only other thing to test is something like a fridge. This is our little test fridge here. It's about a 45, 45 uh, litre fridge. Now, full disclosure, I have fully chilled this on the Storm Mod a little bit earlier before we started this video. So I figured that would probably be a bit better to give us a bit of a view. See, we're already down at zero and six degrees there on the fridge itself. So I thought it'd be a bit of a better idea to, to chill it right down so we can get a bit more of a view of, of how long it's going to last. And uh, there we go. So we're drawing about that 50, 50 watt mark. That's definitely cycling. So it'd be interesting to see here in a moment when that fridge does turn off and goes, the compressor's turned off, um, how long it's gonna last. So there you go. That gives you probably a bit of an idea there. Of course, that's where if you're pairing something like this guy, with a little solar panel even, you're gonna get that sort of negating of, you can pretty much run your fridge all day, even if it is running full tilt to, uh, to cycle, you're gonna be able to get that sort of net power and run effectively forever. Now I'll make sure I link in the video description, just like all of my videos, where you can pick one of these up for yourself. 
if you decide what something like this is what you're after. Be sure to check out the channel for all the other battery power bank reviews as well. We've got a few of them on there now. So if you're in the market for one of these things, be sure to have a, have a bit of a watch of all of them to sort of work out you know, which one is, is potentially gonna suit you. As always, a massive thank you to the patrons of Video Show Me How. If you're interested in supporting the channel, but also getting involved in monthly in a bit giveaways on the Patreon page over there, be sure to check out the links in the video description down below. These guys are a bunch of legends. And as always, thank you very much for your extra support, guys. Of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more videos just like this one. But other than that, guys, as always, I hope that you have an amazing day and I will see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.